going to attempt to do the product review. Now, obviously I've already got a full face of cake up on today. Um, I've already previously removed my Lily Lashes. Um, if you have not ordered a pair of these or seen these yet, they are um, lashes that are um, by Lily Galici. If you've ever seen the show Shaws of Sunset, she was on there one season. Um, I absolutely love her. She is a boss girl. She's a lawyer. She uh, has her own business. And uh, she now has her own um, eyeshadow business, which I use her um, lashes in Miami. And I also use New Bunsen lashes. And their styles are amazing. I use Bella, Dragon Lee, and... Um, I think that's it. Um, but I will link both of the sites down below um, and both the styles down below so you can take your pick. They're both price comparable. Um, I will say this the, this pair right here, the Miamis, and I don't know if I can get these close enough where you guys can kind of see them. Maybe if I open them up a little bit, you could see them. Sorry, I pulled them off before taping. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous. They're full lashes and they are so comfortable to wear. They're not heavy at all and I love them. But this right here is not the product review. So my product review today is something that we all, I, I say we all, I know quite a few people love and that is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. Now, I have mine. It is all-in-one, removes makeup, cleanses, refreshes, and the claim that they make is no rinse, no harsh rubbing, face, lips, and eyes. And mine is all skin types, even sensitive. So, there's no oil, no alcohol, no fragrance. So, this is supposed to be a cleaner of all cleaners. And um, usually, when I wash my face, I douse it on my washcloth and I rub my face off and hey okay no rinse your face is supposed to be clean I feel like I'm cutting my head off I need to stoop a little bit um also need to work on a tripod here um but they went even a step further to make me love them even more and in one of my boxes I can't remember if it's FabFitFun or if it is BeautyCon I believe it was my BeautyCon spring box um, I received the cloths. They make them now an actual little makeup removing cleansing cloth. So it takes out the step of having to have a cotton pad or have a wash rack. So in my product review, I want to show you guys how clean your face actually really gets. Now, I will say I wear cake up. Um, and I love my makeup. I wear quite a lot of makeup. So, it, even with regular makeup wipes, it takes two wipes. Um, with the micellar water, usually I just do, you know, squirt on the wash rag, do one round, and do another squirt, and do a second round. And to me, that's clean. Um, so, I am going to, on camera, take off my makeup. I know, ooh! show you my face without makeup oh I'm proud of my face without makeup that's not anything so first I'm going to take it and I'm going to concentrate on the eyes since that's the heaviest that has the glue that has my mascara um, that has all my eyebrow stuff and all my makeup and so what you do is you let the um you let the cloth just kind of soak on the area a little bit just to kind of loosen up anything that may be waterproof and kind of kind of reactivate and moisten up the um, the mascara and any eyeliner that you may have now notice I'm gently rubbing um, I'm tapping I'm patting you do not want to do this when you're washing your face that our skin is super sensitive especially this skin around our eyes it is more sensitive than the skin on our lips um, and if you pull down on it like this that's going to cause wrinkles and obviously that is one of my worst places i hate it i can't stand it so i'm just going to continue washing my face 
taking it off and you know you guys can see ew, ew, yucky little um makeup coming off I'm going over here to the other side taking that one off and if you see me look over here to my left I'm actually looking in my mirror so that I'm seeing that I'm getting everything um, and I actually have to scrub a little bit on my eyeliner because I put I feel my eye um, not my eyeliner but my eyebrows I feel my eyebrows in and I also do an um, eyebrow mascara to kind of fill them in because mine tend to be a little patchy and I like a nice full looking um, eyeliner, um, I almost said eyeliner again, um, eyebrow, I like a nice patchy smooth looking eyebrow. So okay, got that area all good and clean. So now I'm going to go about getting the rest of my makeup off which I will do a get ready with me kind of thing and show you what I put on under my makeup and how do I do my foundation. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show, we're just solely focusing on this product review. So as you can see, it's, it, you know, it's fairly dirty. It's got makeup on it, but there's still room for more makeup. So I'm going to rub in circles. And the reason you need to rub in circles is so that you pull stuff out of your pores. If you just rub down or you rub up, you're pushing stuff into your pores. But if you rub in circles... They're helping remove them and pull them out. Now I'm going to hopefully get everything. And y'all can see my lovely acne caused by life. Yes, 35 years old and I still get lovely acne. Life acne, as I would call it. And I'm just going to continue to rub get all this off. I go down on the decollage as it's called because my I wear my foundation just a little bit darker than my natural skin so I have to bring it down so that I can go up a little bit behind my ears so I don't have a lines I can't stand lines I want to fix those in people I should carry a makeup kit with me I actually thought about that and just carry around a brush and a sponge and smooth out people's makeup lines but I guess that's harassment that might get me in trouble I don't know People might like it. They might like it. Or it might get me in trouble. We're going to go with that. I'm just going to keep my makeup sponge to myself and not fix people's lines that they have hanging around. Alright, so I would say this one is, yeah, it's used. So I'm going to move on to the second one. Now, having removed the majority of my makeup off, the second one should be it. It should be done. I should be completely clean. I shouldn't have to rinse. And as you can see, I'm getting into my hairline really well. I'm getting into those eyebrows really well. Anywhere that I put makeup, I'm making sure. Even getting in between those small lines. Making sure that I get this makeup off. Because again, I don't want any more of these little fellows popping up. Um, and I will actually, hopefully, be able to show you guys a face care product in the future that I use that takes care of those if I don't pop them and I leave them alone. Um, which I don't recommend popping. All you out there, don't pop them. Use a product that dries them naturally and do not pop. It actually causes sc scars and leaves the um, pore open. Now, if you see my shower curtain moving behind that would be my cat joy most of you know my kitty cat joy and she's wanting to be in the video but i told her no her days of stardom are not here yet so, okay so i feel like i have spent a lot of time on my face and that it is sufficiently clean no well, i'll let you guys look i mean i don't i'm looking in the mirror looks really good and clean to me as you can see not a lot left you know there's quite a bit but still you know it should be clean so the claim says no rinse all skin types gentle cleanses soothes and it's a no rinse formula so right now i should be able to since it's you know nighttime and it's afternoon time it's time for me to do a treatment a mask or something like that I should be able to swap my treatment up but I got curious 
And in my curiosity, I wanted to see if this truly cleansed. Sorry, I'm having to go off camera a little bit. Grab some um, squares, some cotton squares. And I keep my toner. I use Mario Badescu's Cucumber Lotion Toner. Um, and I keep it in um, a nail polish remover bottle. Actually, you're supposed to put your nail polish remover in here. And then you push down and it wetens your towels. Well, I actually found this was a whole lot easier for me. Um, instead of having to sit there and squirt out this huge amount of um, toner and I'd end up with these sopping wet squares. So now I just, it unlocks and I push down on it and I just get the amount that I want. So I'm going to do my toner. You wash your face, you're supposed to tone. But again, the claim on the bottle says you're not even supposed to do that. You're not supposed to rinse. So here we go. I'm going to tone again, if you notice, same places I always washing with the cleansing cloth. And I'll come down so you guys can see. Got even getting on my decorage, getting in the corners, getting in the hard areas, all over. So when I lift this, this should be a clean sponge according to their claims because I shouldn't have to rinse anything and it's non poor clogging. I don't know about y'all. That's a lot of makeup left. A lot of makeup left. So I found I tried with the water again because I was duped into thinking oh well I don't have to rinse. It says I don't have to rinse and um, I used the cleansing water on a brush rack, my old style, thinking that maybe it was just a flaw in the towelettes. And I did the very same test using my cotton squares. And what do you know? I still came up with a very, very, very dirty makeup covered face. Even with that. So, and I mean, I'm still going. I'm still wiping. Here's, here's, here's square number two. And I'm still just pulling off makeup. So even with whether you use the removal pads, these things, which it absolutely breaks my heart. They are not the holy grail I thought they were. Or you use the water, which again, absolutely breaks my heart that it's not the holy grail that I thought it was. Um, it's in your best be effort or your best benefit that, um, you need to follow with a good cleansing afterwards. Don't just go by, um, what it says on the bottle that there is no rinse needed. Um, you need to wash your face because obviously, as you can tell, I was relying on this and I have nice, beautiful little acne popping up and this to me explains now my acne um, I was thinking that this was cleansing my face and I was able to skip a step and it wasn't it was leaving a lot of product still on my face and clogging my pores so that is my product review I still think this is great I still think it's wonderful at makeup removal um, I use a uh, Equate brand makeup removal towelette a lot of the times to remove my eye makeup just because it tends to stain my wash rags a lot um, and and sometimes this burns even for sensitive skin and I have highly sensitive skin um, so I'm still excited about the micellar water um, uh, it doesn't hurt it, it truly is for sensitive skin so I'll, I'll give it an A plus there but as for all the cleansing that it supposedly does and no rinsing and all of that, this is a big F plus. Big, big F plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus. Wash your face after you use this. I know that seems like a lot of washing. If you want to, go back to your standard routine and skip this altogether. 
just wash your face and um, use your toner and go from there and use your treatments um, and I will show you guys in a video later to come my kind of my nightly routine my treatment routine and all that um, but I thought I would put that out there that um, I know a lot of young girls use it um, I know a lot of very busy people who go to the gym and stuff use it thinking that they're pulling all that sweat and stuff out of their pores and they're helping cleanse their face um, you're not ladies wash your face good old soap um, and some soaps that I use their product is all at the top um, I use the Mario Badescu oral, orange cleansing soap um, I use it at nighttime to provide moisturizer and I use the enzyme gel cleansing by Mario Badescu in the morning just to get all the dead skin and stuff from the nighttime that has been broken up by the um, products that I use at night to break them up to clean all that away so that I have a nice smooth surface to put my makeup on in the morning and then I apply all of my morning serums and moisturizers. Um, another big tip, I just want to throw this out there in case you didn't know this, do not wear moisturizer containing SPF to bed. It clogs your pores. You need two different, even if it says non-pore clogging, it will clog your pore. The zinc and the minerals that are used to block the sun, if they're worn for a very long time, it will cause you to get bad acne on your face. So have two moisturizers. I have a Garnier uh, moisturizer with SPF 25 that I put on every morning under my makeup, even if my makeup has SPF in it as well. And then I have a uh, Mario Badescu um, DHA uh, lotion that I put on, moisturizing lotion that I put on at night. Um, so product review, micellar water, it's great for a shortcut. It's great for cleaning, cleansing your face. But be sure to use a regular soap afterwards and don't rely on this as your only source. If for just a good quick cleanse, great. But if you want a good deep cleanse like you should do before bed every night, if you want to still use this, that's fine. But also you still use your soap and water that you would use to cleanse so that you don't end up with the populace like I have on my face. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I know that that was a lot of information thrown at you. And yes, I pressed record this time. And um, I see it in my little screen over here. And um, so I'm sorry, I'm still working on it. I know it's a bit rough. I know my lighting's a bit rough. Hang there with me. I'm gonna get this, I promise you guys. Um, and I hope this helps you. Comment below. Don't forget to sub subscribe to my channel. Like it if you like this video. I'll do some more videos, product reviews, things like this. Um, also, you can follow me on Snapchat. And you can follow me on Instagram. I don't have Facebook and I don't have Twitter. Those are kind of becoming negative for me. So I keep those personal. I'm just not ready to put myself out there publicly on those. But Instagram, Snapchat, those are fun. And you can have a lot of fun with those. And I will link those uh, down below as well. So hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. Pardon all the movement behind me. I have, I've been fighting my cat who wants to be on camera she's currently wrapped around my ankle right now so um maybe one day i'll let joy do my makeup with her tail maybe not y'all have a great day love you all